Brian Wynn, president of the Electric Drive Transportation Association, says that renewable energy such as wind and solar are intermittent and need the same type of effective battery storage technology necessary for electric vehicles. The most available uh, technologies today for renewable fuel or rene renewable energy generation are wind and solar, but both of those are intermittent, for example. Um, so what's happening today with vehicle electrification uh, is we, we want greater and greater range, which means you know, we need greater and greater batteries or energy storage. We need the same thing over here to leverage intermittent renewables on the, on the utility grid. Um, these two independent trends of, of, uh, are driving greater technology, greater energy storage, um, and, and at the end of the day, what's happening is that these two trends are converging. Utilities are beginning to look at electric vehicles or plug-in electric vehicles as, as energy storage on four wheels. More importantly, uh, we, can, we can develop uh, secondary uses for, for batteries that are going to be utilized in uh, vehicles in central or, or stationary storage for the utility grid. Um, that's important because the real, one of the real challenges that we've got in this breakthrough technology today is the cost of energy storage. We have large format lithium ion batteries coming to the marketplace. We're trying to ramp up uh, the manufacturing of these batteries so that we can bring the cost of the battery packs and therefore the cost of the vehicles down to make them more competitive. One of the ways that we can get to greater scale in battery manufacturing is we can uh, utilize more and more large format lithium ion batteries in energy storage for the grid. And that's where we're gonna start to see greater and greater scale. So these trends, while they're independent of one another, are gonna be complementary over time. And I think that's a part of this, t this technology picture that's not well understood. Uh, and as people begin to realize uh, that, that that's beginning to happen, they'll see that this partnership that's developed between the utility industry and vehicle manufacturers is one that's going to continue over the long term.